aphids feed by sucking the nutrients from plants. Check plants for misshapen, stunted or yellowing leaves. Remove spent blooms to direct the energy for growth. Check out this homemade insecticide. Add one teaspoon of soda to one litre of water. Mix and pour into a spray bottle. Then spray the whole plant. Make sure to spray the underside of leaves. Aphids love to hide there. Liquid produced by aphid waste can cause fungal growth. But baking soda is an antifungal agent. It'll help plants to become less acidic and prevent fungus. Some aphid species inject a toxin into plants. These toxins distort the plant's growth. This insecticide is made from cooled wood ashes. Mix 100 grams of the ash with 2 litres of water. Add a squeeze of dish detergent and mix. Don't use treated wood ash as this can contain harmful preservative. Then cover and leave for about three hours. Now strain to remove the sediment. Then pour into a spray bottle for easy application. Wood ashes contain calcium, potassium and other minerals. Great for plant health. This combination helps to combat bud rot and powdery mildew too. Wood ash insecticide causes aphids to dehydrate and suffocate. Don't use on acid-loving plants like blueberries, azaleas and sweet potatoes. Another tip is to spread a layer of ash around plants. Ash provides nutrients to the soil. It will also create an obstacle for slugs and ants. Remember to check plants regularly for aphid infestations. Reapply the solution to outdoor plants after rain. This deters pests from coming back. Ants are often close to aphid populations. If you see a large number of ants, check for aphids. Here's another insecticide solution. Mix hot pepper powder with warm water. Then cover and leave for around 36 hours. Pepper spray has natural pest repelling qualities. Prepare by straining 20 millilitres into a jug. Then dilute the tincture by adding water. Next, pour into a spray bottle. The solution will deter pests and the water will hydrate your plants. Small rodents such as mice are also repelled by the smell. The solution can be safely sprayed on all plants to avoid infection. Now let's cut and remove any infected dry parts. This will allow plants to re-energize. Aphids reproduce and multiply quickly. 
so it's important to check plants regularly. Did you know ladybugs can help to keep aphids under control? Each ladybug can eat 50 to 60 aphids per day. Attract ladybugs into the garden by planting dill and fennel. Plus, ladybugs won't cause harm to other plants, as their primary diet is aphids. Or you could plant companion plants. Aphids won't eat garlic, catnip or chives, so plant them next to the plants aphids like. Here's a hack to protect fruit from being attacked. Check out this inexpensive remedy. Check out how to protect strawberries from crawling insects. Pepper powder creates a barrier. Try out this hack using baking soda. The soda is an insect repellent and insect killer. Try out this insect trap. The bread will encourage insects to venture inside. Carefully solder holes for the insects to enter. Liquid soap and water mix will kill aphids. Soapy water should be reapplied every two to three days. Here's one to suck up those little suckers. Just ensure you use thick cloth. Here's a different slug and snail trap. Make sure to use a deep container. Slugs will fall into the beer and drown. Now let's protect this tree from climbing ants. Ants climb in search of ripening fruit. It can also be an indicator that aphids are present. Soak nylons with sunflower oil. Then wrap around the trunk to create a barrier. Cling film and glue creates a great obstacle. Caterpillars will retreat away from the fruit and foliage. Use this flypaper hack as a barrier for crawling insects. Here's a useful tip when spraying pesticide. The board will act as a shield for plants.
a great way to protect them.